You smell good. What's going on, y'all? Hope all is well wherever you at. What it takes to be an entrepreneur. The truth about entrepreneur. That's what I'm going to talk about briefly, right? Entrepreneur. Being an entrepreneur is a very, very, very challenging opportunity, right? And the reason why I say it's an opportunity is because it has a lot of potential to make you grow as a person, but it also, it has a lot of setbacks, which is also opportunities to grow, if you perceive it that way. Now, being an entrepreneur in the beginning stages can be very challenging, you know? You're trying to maintain your inventory, you know, your cost of overhead, the cost of operation, the cost of the sale, right? Because it's not just simply making a sale, making money as a lot of people think, especially from what we see being propagated on social media. Entrepreneurship is not like that, right? There's a cost to every sale that you make, right? And all of these things have to be put in perspective. So, especially like in the beginning stages, you can find yourself having a, a, a very, I would say, miss a lot of misunderstandings with people that you may hold dear, whether it be your, your family, your friends, your loved ones, whoever you consider, right? And this can be very challenging because sometimes in the beginning stages, you have to make decisions between, all right, yeah, I got this money right here, but right now, the way things is going, I have to make a decision between making certain investments for the operation or feeding my kids. So now it becomes a, a situation, well, how do I present this situation to your wife or your kid's mother to make them understand, which nine out of 10 times they're not gonna understand, especially if they're not an entrepreneur, right? Most people that we encounter in our day-to-day -day lives, right, are working a nine to five. So it, it becomes a it becomes a, a situation where how can I vent? Not vent, excuse me. How can I how can I articulate what I'm trying to communicate to the people that I love and you know try to make them understand and still keep my same level of of diligence and dedication to my goal and my dream and what I'm striving for. Right. Because let's face it, a lot of people in the beginning stages, when you develop and stuff like that, they're not going to see the vision. They're not going to see the dream because it's your dream. It's not theirs. Right. But it's for you to be patient and just stick to it and, 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 and you know, take the challenges as it come. Right. And it can be very tough because. There's, there's going to be times where you feel like quitting. Any entrepreneur can tell you this. This is the honest truth, man. There's going to come a point where you be like, you know what, man? Fuck this shit, man. I'm, I'm making all these investments. I'm making these sacrifices. I'm not getting a return. I'm taking losses. I'm losing. You know, let's say it's, it, it becomes more intense. If you have a family to take care of and provide for, how do, you, how do you explain that, right? Let's say, for example, if you have rent due in two weeks and you have the money, but then you have to make a decision, well, do I put this money aside and pay the rent? And now I'm lacking an in inventory, right? Because you have to keep a certain level of momentum in your operation, right? In order to keep the, the business flowing, right? 
So how do how do I how do I how do I explain this to your wife or, or your loved one or, or, or the people that you love that you're responsible for? It's it's very challenging, right? But in most cases, an entrepreneur is faced with the with the decision, I gotta make the investment. And it can cause a lot of problems. This is why a lot of times entrepreneurs in general, we are misunderstood, right? Because we come from a place of being a risk taker, right? That's essentially what an entrepreneur is, is a risk taker. We're taking risks, right? We're taking risks with our lives, with our time, with our money, with everything. And from the outside looking in, a lot of people are not going to understand that. And being mis being misunderstood can create enemies, right? And we have to consider all of this as part of the package of being an entrepreneur, right? So remember, before I close out the video, remember that if you want to be an entrepreneur, just know what you up against. It's not easy. Because I'm going to tell y'all something. It's, it's times. It's, listen, there's a lot of times where I feel like quitting. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might see me. I'm, I'm doing the videos and I got all this energy. Y'all getting, getting a certain side of me. But I'm also giving another side of y'all of me right now. Right? There's a lot of times I feel like quitting, man. Like, yo, fuck this shit, man. But you know what keep me going? The vision. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's going to keep you going to the vision. I got this new imported white oud musk. You ain't never see this before. Nobody has this new innovation. <laughs> Y'all better tap in. Lock your orders in now. You know what I'm saying? It's going to go fast. White oud musk, man. You smell good. <laughs>